Buck is a wagon master who assists former slaves navigating across the Midwest to settle to a new home. Deshay is the leader of a bunch of thugs. Through violence and intimidation, they attempt to turn back the settlers to return to the southern plantations. Deshay destroys the settlers' wagons and food supplies, leaving them with a choice of starvation or going back to quasi-slavery. When the people don't give up information on Buck, Deshay kills their leader, straight up terrorist behavior. When Buck returns home, he notices signs of an ambush. His old lady Ruth is giving him a strange greeting. Instead of running out to greet him, she's standing in the window waving like a school child. Deshay is laying in wait. When Buck gets in the clear, bullets fly. The chase begins and Buck gets away. Buck comes across a horse more robust than his own. He decides to help himself to the horse which belongs to Preacher. With Buck having a gun in his hand and Preacher having nothing but his balls in his, there's not much Preacher can do to stop Buck from swapping the horses. Even though the good folks have had their belongings destroyed, the old man's bones tell them to go ahead. Preacher rides into town for a little shot of whiskey. Deshay and his lowlifes ride into the same town and they spot Buck's horse, which Preacher now rides. They interrogate Preacher about his knowledge of Buck. He informs them that Buck is a common enemy and that their beef is shared. Deshay offers Preacher $500 to deliver the body of Buck to Copper Springs. Preacher eventually catches up to the caravan of freed folk only to find that Buck is leading them. Even though Preacher punches Buck for stealing his horse, Buck agrees that he can stay at camp for the night as repayment for stealing his horse. The settlers get paid for their harvest work and Preacher has a keen eye on the transaction. He spies that they are transporting their money and money belt strapped to the women. While Preacher is spying on them, Buck is spying on him. He doesn't trust Preacher. As they leave camp, Buck dismisses Preacher from the group. Along the way, Preacher encounters a bunch of native scouts. He does a U-turn and goes to warn Buck. Buck doesn't run. He awaits them. Buck begins negotiation of the settlers' passage through the natives' territory. The chief gives them five days to complete their travel and permission to kill one buffalo for food. One buffalo for 40 people over five days? That's cutting it kind of thin. But Chief is trying to run a damn business over here. With money exchanged, they eventually settle on five days and two buffalo. When Buck rejoins the settlers, Deshay and his goons have attacked, destroying the food supply, taking the profits from the harvest work, and even killing folk. Some want to turn back and return to the south, but the elder throws them bones and the bones they keep heading west. They have no money left to pay Buck, but he lets it slide. Preacher tells Buck that he knows where Deshay may be located, seeing that Deshay mentioned where to collect the bounty on Buck's head. They plan to roll up on Deshay and his crew. Deshay and his band of criminals arrive in Copper Springs. They spend in their blood money on on hoes and gambling. Upon finding them, Preacher enters the room and distracts them just long enough to allow Buck to get the drop. Buck and the Preacher shoot up the place killing Deshay and all but two of his hooligans. But they only recover a small fraction of the money. Them cats were popping bottles and making it rain. That little money be gone. Buck returns home to Ruth. They gotta get Ruth out since the thugs know where she stays. Ruth been ready to leave. She done had enough of the American dream bullshit. Preach to him for a second, Ruth. The virtuous Buck wants to keep his word to the settlers before heading north. Preacher shares his origin story. He killed the preacher man that sold his mother for $200. That's how he got his horse, his suit, and his Bible. Preacher convinces Buck to rob a bank to get the money for the settlers. The three pull off a bank robbery right in front of the sheriff's office. And once again, the chase is on. Buck and Preacher escape to native territory. The natives block the passage and even the terrorists ain't crazy enough to cross that line. Right off the rip, Chief lets Buck know that your beef ain't my beef. Buck is back to negotiating for food, guns, and horses. The Chief agrees to horses and dry meat only. No guns. Buck continues to plead his case. Chief tells him that the white man already got his back against the wall. He ain't trying to give up guns because they still have a fight on their hands. When Buck tries to we fight in the same fight tactic, Chief counterpoints that Buck fought in the white man's army. Buck is like, man, why you always bringing up old stuff? Chief makes it clear, no guns, no bullets. Good luck in them streets, playboy. Preacher and Buck divide the bank robbery proceeds and discuss their future plans. Buck and Ruth are headed to Canada. Preacher wants to head to Illinois, but it ain't safe. The posse rides along the direct route, and the long route would take him through a Midwest winter. The natives tell Buck that the terrorists are back on the ass of the settlers. The natives agree to take Buck on a shortcut through the mountains to save the settlers. But remember, they ain't gonna fight for them. Preacher sees the opportunity to take the direct path to Illinois since the posse has changed directions. 
When Preacher finds out that his path has been cut off, he rejoins Buck. When the terrorists catch up to the caravan, the new head terrorist wants to kill the settlers, but the sheriff just wants to arrest Buck for shooting up his town. Well, in this situation, the terrorists win, and the head terrorist knifes the sheriff in the back. Buck and Preacher make it to the caravan and lead the bad guys away. They get into a shootout. The chief watches from atop a mountain like it's a pay-per-view boxing match. Buck and the Preacher get surrounded. More gunplay. Both Preacher and Buck get shot. Just when it seemed like they had no hope, the natives intervene. Our heroes save the day with a little assist. Okay, a big assist. The black folk make it out to the west and Buck and Preacher ride out. <laughs>